Welcome to the end of the world, my friend. Civilization is a smoking crater. The Wi-Fi is dead and your phone, well, it's just a sad, lifeless rectangle now. But fear not, today we're making a battery from garbage. Yes, the apocalypse is messy, but your survival will be electrifying. Uh, you'll need some lemons, copper wire, zinc nails, or whatever vaguely metallic stabby things you can find in the ruins of a Home Depot. Got some old soda cans? Perfect. It's about turning chaos into power. Your neighbors are probably dead, but at least your flashlight won't be. Step one, stab that zinc nail into the lemon like you mean it. Step two, wrap that copper wire around your nail like you're strangling your ex. But gentle, it's science, not a crime scene. Do this with a dozen lemons, or your last bit of sanity might evaporate faster than your water supply. Now connect them in series, one lemon, two lemons, three lemons, suddenly your Frankenstein, and the LED flickers like the ghost of civilization past. Congratulations. You just bottled a little spark of life in a dead world. Smell that? That's hope or citrus. Sure, it won't power your Tesla or your PlayStation. But in a world where canned beans are currency and your neighbor is eyeing your socks, this tiny battery is victory. It's survival. It's chaos. It's slightly sticky. Remember, in the apocalypse, sanity is optional. Ingenuity is mandatory. If lemons and wire can make life pulse again, so can you. Stay wild, stay resourceful, and laugh maniacally while the world burns. It's therapeutic. Now go spark your little corner of doom. And hey, if you survive, hit that subscribe button before your battery dies, because in this world, it probably will.